So this is the new HTC One M8, HTC's new 2014 uh, flagship smartphone. We've seen a lot of reviews out there, unboxings, hands-on, but you're here at work. So you want to find out exactly what we think makes this phone tick and if this is actually worth purchasing this year. <music> So the HTC One M8 uh, has a lot of similarities to the HTC One from last year in terms of name and also some of design and styling. Now, if you want to see more in depthly in that, check out our in comparison between the One Eight as well as the HTC One. But the first thing off the bat, and the reason why I'm showing you the back of the device is this is where it clearly differentiates is you've got that dual camera. Now, the dual camera is an ultra pixel camera. We're not told the exact specs, but it's around the same. Um, but the camera is built differently to actually do to to achieve a different goal now you can check out our dual camera review so you can see more details on there uh we explain in more details but i'm going to explain it here for you so the idea of the dual camera here is really to give you a couple of functionalities in there so it allows you gives you some 3d effects and also gives you depth and range so you can refocus and also this thing has um it doesn't have built-in ois like the hc one it does have a new automated digital or um image stabilization now with that being said it's done if they've done a very good job with some of the images and steels now the it's a little mixed still just because it's software driven and i think that's probably the issue but um in terms of low light conditions it's done well you can see some of the low light photos right there it's done a very good job in 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 taking photos in low light and also the flash here has done a very good job in the fact that it actually allows you to capture more of the scene with light so i do like that inclusion and i do like the camera i think it, they've done a good job much improved from what they had last year uh, just if they can fix some of the software uh, tweaks that'll be fine now you've got the whole metal casing here for this device and uh, and um it's it's more streamlined and it's actually been improved so what hgc has done here is it's now edge to edge metal uh basically from you know the size before it was plastic is now edge to edge metal all around wrapped around the device the only plastic you will find or sense of plastics is actually i think and the edges here on the top and at the bottom and that's pretty much it so this is an all metal feel phone all metal build uh, it feels very nice feels very comfortable light in your hands now internally you've got a 2600 milliamp battery and you've also got uh, a, a an in, uh, sorry a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 chip in here. Solid chip, great performance. The battery life of 2600 milliamp battery, HTC says yes, we should get 40% more battery life. Um, the battery life is definitely improved, not to my own taste and standards, just because I've become used to bigger batteries and longer life so uh in terms of just normal use uh, uh as a normal user I was, I was with the power save on i was able to get roughly around uh 16 hours or so use uh, uh as, a, as a heavy user it dropped down for me to about around 12 or so so um it's still very good battery life especially for the smaller battery you have in here so that's also a good point as i mentioned it has the 801 chipset in here and the snapdragon 801 and you've also got uh, um, uh, this having two gigs of RAM running. Now, let me head back here and show you Blink Feed. Now, Blink Feed, of course, has been updated and improved. And what the HTC has done is they've actually made it much easier to separate things. So you can see the clear separation between some of my tweets, uh, messages, and it tells you where it comes from. This is from Foursquare, that's from Twitter, that's Instagram. It's more, much much clearer, much better, and also flows better in here. You can swiftly, simply swipe to all your different um, social networks that are added in here, as well as websites you can add to, and you can also search for content. So it's much improved. But the cool thing I love about Blinkfeed this year is simply this. I can go ahead and remove Blinkfeed. This is what I love. Um, I don't like using Blinkfeed that much. It's not a feature that I like, but I like the fact I can remove it I can also just add Blink Feed back again. Simple process. So for me, I like that fact that I can remove and add Blink Feed. So now we have Blink Feed out, done. That's good. Uh, your home screen, of course, standard affair. You have on-screen buttons now in the HTC One M8. And basically, that takes up some real estate, but not much. And as you can see, your app tray is still the same. Uh, it comes, of course, with certain things preloaded into folders. So you have your, like your entertainment or media folder. You have your Google folder and things like that. Not a lot of bloatware, which I like. So what do you have here? This is a T-Mobile version. I didn't have any bloatware 
at all installed. Um, uh, the only thing that was actually here was actually the T-Mobile core apps like my uh, ID, account, um, mobile, T-Mobile TV and visual apps. So not much in terms of the world, which is good, which is very nice. Now this is running Sense, uh, Sense 6, basically a new version of Sense on Android 4.4. And a couple of things you notice in here as we go into uh, the drop down menu, you can see the snapshot icon is no longer here. So you don't have that here to take a snapshot. You basically hold down the power as well as the volume down. And if we actually jump into our settings here, our settings are a little bit much more uh, fine tuned. You have media output, for your settings you have your personalized account sync uh backup and reset as we flow through and also things like of course your power save shows you your power save structure and all that fun stuff now this is one thing i just wanted to mention quickly fast boot uh once you turn on your device for the first time it's going to take forever to actually turn on so uh before you power cycle the next time actually select pa uh, fast uh, fast boot up or fast boot under the power section this allows you to boot up much faster and it's just much improved altogether with this device uh let's take a look at that camera because i mentioned how good that camera is now htc has done a good job in improving the camera ui it's very simplistic very easy you've got your images you've taken that's the shutter your flash is kind of here where you can cycle through you've got your selected uh, modes so if you go in here we have camera video zoe selfie selfie is just front facing camera really Dual, dual capture so I can actually do a dual capture mode and actually you can see me there I can drag and drop the viewfinder anywhere if I choose to and let's change that and we've got pan 360 kind of making a spherical and uh, set back to camera the other thing also is that you've got the custom settings kind of like what Nokia did with the pro camera uh, settings so they actually went there you've got auto you've got ISO you can actually change the ISO max EV levels your ABW you can also do um, uh, filters in there and you can actually go into some core settings and you can make your own settings for whichever picture mode you want and save those settings. So when you actually save them, um, you know, camera seven, camera save one, it shows up right here. So I, even though I didn't do anything, but I can, I can set some, something up and have my own special settings so I can have a settings for evening setting so say 5 p.m evening i like to take pictures of scenery at that time i can actually save it as that that's a nice feature to have and i think that's pretty cool and solid so the other thing of course is that you have the boom sound speakers and these things sound awesome uh now there's only a slight note i'll mention to it so the boom sound speakers are been updated they don't have beats technology with them anymore uh hc says it's 40 percent louder than um than what you had uh from last year uh but one thing i'll tell you it's it's 40 percent. it is louder but it, it also lacks some of the base features that you got from the last boom sound i'm just going to give you a quick sample here you know this lobster is fest is the king of all promotions it's red lobsters lobster fest the year's largest selection of lobster entrees like lobster lovers dream hurry in and seafood differently go to redlobster.com for ten dollars off with purchase of two lobster fest entrees So, yeah, you got a quick sample there. And okay, we are live. Hi, guys. Um, sorry for being nine minutes late. All right. Uh, so there you have it. Um, that's that's a sound sample of the of the of the boom sound speakers. They sound much much louder, very clear, especially when gaming with them. Um, they were very solid. Now, in terms of gaming, the 801 processor handles very well. You've got two gigs of RAM. It really doesn't do much in terms of gaming uh, in, uh, to slow it down. The only thing is that it warmed up a little bit at the back. And I really more attribute that to the metal build, actually, because it wasn't, it didn't feel hot. It just felt very warm because of, of how close the metal is probably to the processor. Handles gaming well, solid processor in there, and a very nice phone. I, I will admit, I actually prefer this more than uh, last year's version um, of the HTC One. I think this is a solid device all around. Now, the camera hat is much improved. The one thing that actually uh, I don't like too much, of course, as I mentioned, was Blink Feed and also some of the software features and intricacies with it. Uh, one of the things I just don't like uh, is that, you know, you type in Wi-Fi um, and even though it, most most times most other devices will drop down and give you Wi-Fi signals to select into, you still have to tap into that little three button icon on the bottom to actually go into the proper Wi-Fi settings to log in. So things like that. Uh, and that's one of my, my uh, annoyances with Sense is the Sense does little things that I just don't like. It doesn't give users feel, uh, true 
functionality in my mind. But again, it's to each his own. If you're a big fan of Sense or you even like just some of the simplicity of Sense, um, then this might be a phone for you to pick up. And one of the other cool things, of course, is the case. Um, the case uh, is $50 from HTC. And this is a very simple case, a dot matrix case that allows you to basically, you know, close the case up and boom, I tap on the case. You have that. I can tell time, I can answer end calls, and I can also do voice search with this by sliding down. You know, so you have those features on there. Um, you know, this also has the kind of like the knock feature, also the double tap glance feature from uh, Nokia. So if I slide up, it it should actually slide and activate. Let's see. Let's do this again. There we go. I can slide and unlock. I can double tap on unlock. So you've got some of those features there. What I was kind of disappointed is that you don't have wireless charging. So this is my tilt wireless charging stand. So even though um, it, it's it's something that I feel most companies should pick up, there's still no wireless charging in here. So that's I, I find that quite annoying because I think that's the technology that most companies should have. Even though, yes, the Galaxy S5 doesn't have wireless charging, it does have a wireless charging backplate you can pick up. So at least there's an option for it. So with HTC One, there's no way to get an option in there. A big improvement is also you've got the micro SD expansion. Uh, so you have more storage. Comes 32 gigabytes uh, uh, fully for a user. So that's nice. Um, you know, I think HTC has done a good job in improving what they did last year um, on the phone. The camera is much improved. Um, also, uh, software-wise, much improved now um is this worthy picking up um for me yes it's better than the htc one from last year um it's just a much more improved phone i that really wasn't one of my best phones last year it's my, i know a lot of people love that but personally i just didn't um you know the button layouts were a little annoying last year uh, this the volume button was flush this is more pronounced likewise is this button on the top though they need to just move this to the to side it makes no sense there i think um so this uh this button here is more pronounced uh, um and also you know you've got things like uh zoe just a little bit improved the gallery also has got some improvements in there uh let's just show you that it's still the same but it's a little bit improved it's got more of a timeline feature you see some of my polo gate stuff there as well as some food and i can go through like just timelines quickly and show you some of the things uh, we see there and this is some of that refocusing I had mentioned I'm just actually going to show you an image so you, if you can see I don't know if you guys can see that clearly this image uh, you can see that's focused in front and the next image the uh, PlayStation box is focused behind so that's what that that does for you again you can see more details of that um, in the um, uh, a dual camera view now overall I do like it, much improved. Uh, it's not where I would like it to be, but if you're HTC One owner and you want, you really love the HTC brand, you want to update, uh, this is a solid phone to update to. Um, if you're not a fan of HTC and you're looking at this device, uh, you ask, some people ask me how this compares to the Galaxy S5. I can't tell you because I haven't actually fully reviewed the Galaxy S5. So I just say, wait. When we get our hands on that and we can compare it, you know, we can do that then. But overall, this is not a bad device. This is actually a nice device. I'm, I'm actually impressed with what HD has done in improvements. It's lacking in some areas. In my view, again, things like wireless charging. Again, it could be petty. Wireless charging, um, some of the things to do with blink feed and things like that. But overall, I think it's a solid device. I think they've done a good job now. Hopefully, they can do some marketing, push it out there for people to see. But overall, this is the HTC One M8. So if you guys have any questions or comments about this device, let me know. Leave it in the description below. And also, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and favorite this video. And please do subscribe to the channel, Board at Work. You can hit the subscribe button on your screen on the top right-hand corner or in the description below, of course, again. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.